talk a little bit what happened during the international break in England and in the Netherlands. Uh, I'm wearing my United jersey. Could have pulled Liverpool, but I'm wearing too much Liverpool as of late. And so I decided, yeah, let's go with United for this one. Because United owner, the Glazers, and very much Liverpool, are behind Project the Big Picture, which was the huge headline. I thought the big uh, talk will, will be that now for pay-per-view in England, you have to pay 15 quid to uh, see the game, which is already ridiculous. But then this story broke. And I have to say, um, aside from it being an apparent power grab, and I'm sure you, if you're interested in Premier League, already read about it. So I'm just giving you my few cents. It's an apparent power, power grab. And I wonder that I even can a little bit understand uh, if since, you know, the top six or the big six, however you want to call, call them, they really would have liked to have like the five substitutions because there's a lot of games to be played. The smaller teams, of course, do not go with that because yes, it's an seemingly an advantage. Whatever it is, uh, I can see that they're miffed and that they're always outvoted. Um, I think 14 to six or something like, like that. And uh, that doesn't seem right because it's mainly those teams that uh, gather uh, uh, all the money. So yeah, this voting rule, yeah, we have all the power now in nine teams, the top six plus, uh, what was it, Everton, Southampton, and uh, one other team, where uh, Leicester, I think, or was it even Leicester? Anyway, uh, and then you just need a two-third majority. That seemed a little bit uh, not right to me. Uh, there needs to be at least... My, 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 if you want to do that, that half of the league decides, make at least a formula that this can change because let's say United is crashing all the way down uh, and they still have all the voting power, that doesn't seem right to me either. So all that was complete nonsense and of course was immediately unanimously rejected yesterday, which I found a very interesting statement uh, because it leaked. And I don't know how it how this can leak. Uh, seemingly, the other you know outside of Liverpool and United, the others were not uh, that happy with it. But then, um, why are you proposing it? Or did it the uh, EFL boss propose I uh, leak? I don't know. Maybe it was just to get. I need to adjust my jersey. It looks awful. Maybe it is just to um, you know get some talking points out there because there are really good points in this reducing the premier league to 18 teams yep i would even go 16. i, I heard gavin mccarthy i think every top league it should be uefa mandated 16 games uh, 16 teams it reduces the schedule by so much um it gets rid of the league cup which yes i'm not from uh <laughs> not from the island but I really, really think that the league, league Cup is a competition that no one is taking serious anymore. There's no reason for it to uh, to exist. I know smaller teams uh, can survive if you like draw Manchester United and uh, and then either you get a big home game or you pay, get an away game and you can split the gate or whatever. Yes, I understand that part, but there are other ways to finance this. It, so get rid of the League Cup, reduce the League. I really, really like it. Also, uh, now that I read a little bit on the parachute payments, <laughs> yeah, that's idiotic uh, to the end degree. So, um, and giving money to the lower pyramid, also making the other uh, leagues 24 teams actually uh, might not be a bad thing. And then you should go full amateur below, my personal opinion. But yeah, I hope they use at least the good ideas as a star starting point for negotiations to maybe give the top six a little bit more power um, because I can understand their frustrations. I also understand the concerns that, you know, if you re if you get rid of competitions or make lower games, it opens up for a Super League or more Champions League. But then again, um, I'm more all right with that than having a competition where you feel, uh, you know, second string squads. So, with all that, we are set to go on a really exciting Premier League weekend because I think there's at least one, if not two, fixtures in, in there that everyone uh, should watch. I mean, there's Everton, Liverpool. That, to me, is a must-watch te te television. I think even Leicester, Leicester Aston Villa is one that's really interesting. Uh, same to goes to New, uh, Newcastle, Manchester United, which is like a whole traditional stuff. But then, of course, also late on Saturday, Manchester City against Arsenal. Um, Leeds United, Wolves and Spurs, West Ham. I think it's a really, really, really exciting round coming up. And then 
we also have the Netherlands where we had uh, a whole lot of fixture changes, but we also have a partial lockdown in the Netherlands. And I have not heard if this will affect soccer. I assume it will not. The governments, uh, besides making a, a night lockdown, more, more, more or less, also said that no team sports can be played by people over the age of 18. I really hope this does not consider professional athletes. But hey, let's see. As I said, lots of things have been changed around, and namely the Ajax game has been put to Sunday, so we start now with Heracles against Valwijk. And then we have a Rotterdam derby early on, so that might also be kind of interesting to see. Anyway, that's it for my little update from the Premier League and a little bit Eredivisie. I know I need to get more Eredivisie shirts working on it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing and clicking the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a wonderful day. Bye!